plans this weekend. I think the weather's supposed to be incredibly rainy. I'm just kind of feeling like having a hermit weekend where I don't really leave my apartment and just not really getting up to much at all. Like nothing sounds better to me at the moment. So I thought it would be the perfect weekend to film a what I read or how much I can realistically read in a weekend. Having no plans. And just leaving my apartment as little as I possibly can. I filmed something kind of similar to this, what I realistically read in a week or something like that last year. And I really enjoy doing it. Just kind of like bringing you through my days more so focused on what I'm reading. And yeah, I just, I'm feeling like I just want to spend the weekend reading. So I thought I'd just bring you along for a cozy weekend reading together. It's done. Doing what I read in a weekend. Because we both have decided. Show your bookmark. Oh yeah, my bookmark is really, really cool. Both came to the conclusion that we want a nothing weekend. Mm. Well, we honestly leave the apartment as little as we possibly can. Weather's supposed to get worse. It's supposed yeah. to be severe weather warning. Some nice thunderstorms. Yeah, see that? To be fair, severe it's weather warning bad. means like heavy rain. rain. It's not that dramatic. <laughs> but we're going to have a really relaxing weekend, so I thought it would be fun to film a, what I read in a weekend. I got Sam to start Akata like months ago. I'm halfway through. No, you, he's doing well. I'm halfway but through. I go through stages sure where I'll read, read for a few months. Yeah, this weekend we can. Reading's on the bottom of my priority list. Yeah. So like, if there's anything else I want to be doing, I'm doing it first. Yeah, that's fair. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, it could be nice to read. But I reckon like with all the rain, no promises. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So the first book that we're going to be reading together is The Invocations by Crystal Sutherland. My friends and I have a book club together and this one is April's book club book of the month. Rather than leaving it to the very last minute and reading it a few days before book club, I decided to actually pick it up early this month. I'm up to page 228, chapter 20. If you're anyone in book club, either just click off this video or go to this timestamp when I'm not talking about this book anymore. As much as I want to, we're not allowed to talk about it <laughs> before book club. I honestly think with how I'm going, I'll probably finish it tomorrow just because it's so easy to read. It kind of feels like a decent sized book, but when you're reading it, it's just so easy to fly through. I feel like I'm just finding myself sitting down to just like read a bit and then all of a sudden I've just read like 100 pages. It's definitely very bingeable and easy to read so far. But yeah, I thought I'd start this video now because it's Friday night. So the weekend has started and I'm very excited to just completely have a relaxing weekend. I'm going to go have a shower now, get into comfy clothes, do my skincare and then I'm going to hop into bed and I probably won't finish it tonight depending, I mean, depending how tired I feel. It's only 8.30 so I could. I'm really bad at describing books and I feel like this book is like almost a little bit hard to describe but it's basically about these three girls. It goes between three perspectives of the three girls, two of them are witches and then one of them is a human but has kind of like a motive for wanting the witch's help. I definitely describe the book as having a very dark, dark magic theme throughout it. There's demons involved, like very heavily involved. I can't work out how I feel about this book so far. Like part of me is like I can't put it down and it's very bingey. But also reading about demons is a very interesting experience and part of me is a bit like do I like this but also I am enjoying it I think I don't know I'm not honestly 100% sure at this point but I mean I am enjoying it I'm gonna have a shower do my skincare get into comfy clothes and then I'm just gonna read in bed until I can't open my eyes anymore which honestly sounds like my idea of a perfect Friday night so I'm very excited so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna spend the weekend reading together and I'm personally very excited <laughs> and I went to Pilates and then got a match, I went for a walk and then I was like might as well try and make the most of the good weather because I do think it's supposed to be raining for the next few days so I thought I'd come down to the beach I also brought my book because I thought maybe I'd have a bit of time to read before the Pilates class I ended up taking like 15 minutes to try and find a park so I didn't get to read but I'm so glad I brought it with me I just went in for a swim, it was kind of choppy but it was a beautiful temperature and I just feel so fresh now I'm also using my beach umbrella 
up for the first time. I love it. So I'm just gonna lie here for like half an hour more and just continue reading. I'm up to chapter 26 now, page 289. So I think I have like 100 pages to go and I definitely think I'll finish it today because I really don't see myself putting it down. So I'm very excited. I feel so good that I got up and did Pilates and went for a walk, thinking better buy myself an acai bowl for breakfast. I've been craving one for weeks and I haven't had one. So I think I might buy myself one on the way home and I'm just having a great time. What a gorgeous Saturday. I think because I really wasn't expecting it to be good weather, I'm just like, wow, I'm so happy that it is. And is there anything better than reading a book by the beach? I don't think so. I'm gonna continue having a great time. Continue reading. That's my Saturday morning. I love this weekend already. to process this book. I really, I think it's a good book. I'm not sure if it's my type of book, not my type of genre, would you call it? Maybe it was the demons. <laughs> I mean, I've never read a book like it before, so it was an interesting experience. I did enjoy it, I think. No, I did enjoy it. I don't know what I think. I'm definitely satisfied with the ending. There was something that happened towards the ending that I was not expecting. Like, no, I mean, not that I was really racking my brain trying to figure out who this specific person was. But when we found out who it was, I was shocked. I was not expecting it at all. Every single time I picked this book up, I was very much like in the book. found it very easy to read. I loved that it was set in London, of course. I really... I don't know what I'm gonna rate. I think I need to stew on it a bit. Right now I think I'm sitting at a four, but I'm going to leave it the rest of the weekend and then maybe I'll have a more solid rating of the book. I think I would recommend it. I would recommend it. If you can get around darker magic and more of like demonic things, I feel like you would enjoy it. I think just because I've never read anything like it before, it was just a bit like a bit of a strange experience. I probably wouldn't rush to read another book like this, but I enjoyed it. Like I'm really glad I read it. Wow. I feel like I've been in this, this book for so many days now. It feels weird to be finished. I'm going to make some dinner real quick because I'm really hungry. But I had to finish this book before I made dinner. And then we can pick my next read for the rest of the weekend. Time to put this on the shelf. I think it looks great with my pink books. Wow, this shelf is almost full. I reckon I could fit one more book there. And then I filled it. That's so satisfying. These are the books that I bought the other day that I have to choose from. It's like I won't go this because this feels kind of heavy. I could be wrong with that. Because I just finished this, I feel like I want something a little bit more lighthearted. Maybe this. I feel like that'll be really cute. This maybe? That's the second book in a series. And then I don't think I'm ready to start a fantasy. So maybe out of these two? I also haven't finished the last book in the Inheritance game. So that could be a good one. I think I'm really feeling that. I do have also the last book in the Chestnut Spring series or Icebreaker. If I wanted more of like a light-hearted romance. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna eat dinner, maybe watch a movie, and then I'll come and decide. I feel great that I finished a book. I love the feeling of finishing a book is one of my favorite things. And then just popping it on the shelf. It'll never get old. Okay, it's like 9 p.m. I sat on the couch watching YouTube for too long, but I of course need a book to read before bed. <sighs> okay. Does anyone get the feeling where they just like overheat on the couch? I feel like I'm really looking at how I'm feeling right now. I also have The Naturals, which could be a good book too. I don't know what I'm feeling. 
This is like the start of a new series. Do I want to start a new series? But also most of them are the start of a new series. Oh, I also have this. Your Meal on Vacation by Emily Henry. Oh, I just don't know. Um, this one. I've already read that. <laughs> That's all I got to offer. No, I'll give you a few options. Oh. This one, this one. Or this one. Do you know what any of them are about? Um, this one's like mystery, I think. Like this one, that girl's working with the FBI. These little cherubs. This one's like a romance on vacation vibes. And then this one is like fantasy. Just give me one of those scenarios where I pick one, you go, mm, I don't feel like reading that one, and you pick another one. Maybe, but at least if you pick one and I go, no, it'll make Okay, well, this one looks scary, so I don't like that one. Okay. Get rid of that one. Two best friends, ten summer trips, their less chance to fall in love. No. Catch a serial killer, you have to think like one. Yeah, this one. This one sounds good. Two best friends, ten summer trips. So this guy's teed up ten summer trips just to try and get in. <laughs> he's he's massively in the friend zone. No, but they might like grow up together. This one. You didn't okay. want to read this one, did you? Those are the top. Those that are one's, the top That one's, can I read the back? Yeah. Let me have a look at this. What Cassie doesn't realize is there more? I mean, it could be. Would you want to read this at the back of this one? Yeah, I'll read the back of this one. No one knows why Juliet's touch is fatal. Mm. You're taking this very seriously. I thought you were just going to choose one from the front cover. No, I don't do that. <laughs> All right, which one, which one do you want to read? That's why I asked you. It also depends on what vibe you're feeling because you picked know. three books with three very different vibes. I know I have. The one I'm most interested in, the one I would be, would be probably, probably. This one. How's it feel? Feel pretty good? It feels pretty good. Okay, I think I'll do this one. Alright, oh, where did these go? Just there. Just here? No. Got this one went here. Yeah, and that one's there. Because yeah. I haven't read that yet. Yeah. There? Yeah. Nice. This is the winner. It is about a girl who has natural powers of reading people and the FBI come knocking on her door. What Cassie doesn't realize is that there is more at risk than a few unsolved murders, especially when she's sent to live with a group of teens whose gifts are as unusual as her own. Soon it becomes clear that no one in the naturals program is what they seem and when a new killer strikes, danger looms close. Caught in a lethal game of cat and mouse with the killer, the naturals are going to have to use all of their gifts just to survive. So I'm going to hop into it and start the next read of the weekend. <laughs> I charged my camera battery all night. Turns out I didn't and it's flashing that it's gonna die again. So I really don't know how long I have with you right now, but it is such a rainy day today. This is kind of the weather that I was expecting for the whole weekend and that's Okay, my camera died after like five seconds of me talking before. I was in my car heading out to have breakfast with Rach and G, so that's what I did this morning. We just spent hours at a cafe chatting, eating, and it was perfect. I loved it. It was the perfect Sunday morning. As you would have seen before, I did go on the treadmill this morning, and I basically read my book for the entire time, so now I'm up to page 142. I think I read like 50 to 60 pages last night, and then yeah, like 80 to 90 on the treadmill this morning. This book is literally only, it's so short, it's like 308 pages, so I'm very close to being halfway. It's 2.54. I've just kind of, since getting home, been cleaning for a bit. I just made myself a little snack because I was getting a bit hungry. Now my plans for the rest of the afternoon is just to read and that sounds perfect. It's like still kind of raining on and off. So far, I'm really enjoying it. It is so easy to read. I feel like that's very, very typical with Jennifer Lynn Barnes's writing. It's so just easy to read. Chapters are so, so short. They're like two to three pages per chapter. And so you really just feel like you're flying through it. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. Definitely intrigued enough to not want to put it down. I do feel like, and I was the same with the Inheritance games, I enjoy, but I kind of don't ever really form like a connection to the characters. Like I, I think that's why I kind of haven't reached for the last book in the Inheritance games because I just kind of like don't, really care about the characters like I do but I don't you know what I'm saying and I kind of feel like that with this but I am also very much enjoying I think I prefer this so far to the inheritance games it's just genuinely like so easy to read like one of the easiest books to just kind of fly through I wouldn't be surprised if I finish it today so those are my plans for the afternoon I would love to finish it just to know how it ends I do believe it's a four book series I think I think so so I'm assuming it's gonna end on a bit of a cliffhanger which is annoying I mean good because then I'll probably want to read the rest of the series but I'm excited to see how this one ends and how that kind of like sets up the rest of the series. I'm very much having a good time. Like it's a satisfying read because you fly through it so quickly. Now I just want to spend the afternoon in bed reading. So that's what I'm going to do.
62. And I feel like we're about to find something that's gonna be crazy and blow my mind. It's a murder mystery. So we've obviously been trying to figure out who the murderer is. I've been trying to figure out for like the last half because we've been getting little clues. I can't. I have not been successful. Like I don't even have any ideas. Like I have some, but I'm like, that is that just like what they're trying to make me think? I don't know. Anyway, so I wanted to pick up my camera because I feel like we're about to find out something crazy. <laughs> less than 24 hours ago. I mean, obviously it's a very short book, but the last like 50 to 80 pages were just like, wow, I definitely will be reading the rest of the series now. It was so good. Again, I think I'll still on it for a bit, but I think right now I'm leaning towards like a 4.5. I really enjoy it. I mean, it was everything that a murder mystery should be. I'm gonna pop that on my shelf. Again, the best feeling. I think I definitely need a lighthearted. Obviously that was, not obviously, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but that was a YA book, but it was still a murder mystery. So I just kind of feel like I'm now in the mood for something very lighthearted. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this to read before bed. Probably won't get that much done today, but I of course need a book to read before bed. So I think this is gonna be the next book that I read. And the last book that we'll finish, I mean, I'm not going to finish it this weekend, but the last book that I'll be reading tonight and it's Sunday night, so what I'll be finishing the weekend on. And as much as I enjoyed both of those books, I'm very excited to go into a book that doesn't involve murder. <laughs> like, they're fun and a page turners, but I think I've reached my quota and I need a little romance. I also thought this would be a great time to read this just before Emily Henry's next book comes out and I think a few weeks. I think it's like late April so I thought it'd be the perfect time to kind of like get back into my Emily Henry mood. I've read Book Lovers. I think this is the first Emily Henry I read. Then I read Happy Place. Still to this day one of my favourite books I've ever read. I still really want to do a reread. I might do that soon actually. And then I also read Beach Read. And I'm pretty sure this is the only book of Emily Henry's that I haven't read. So this is what I'm going to end the night with. And I'm so excited to just read a silly little romance. To be fair, I'm not sure how silly or little it is, but just something lighthearted. And I love Emily Henry's writing, so I'm very excited. It is now the next day. I've just finished editing the weekend, and I thought I would sit down and just give you my overall thoughts on all the books. Now I've had a little bit of time to think about them, stew. I always feel like my thoughts of a book just after finishing it are never accurate. I don't know. I feel like I just need to think about it for a bit. I also, I'm not sure if this is interesting at all, but I've seen other people do it, and I find it really interesting. I don't know why. I think it's like somewhat satisfying, or maybe it's just like me being nosy. But when people tell you how many pages they read, per day. I haven't actually worked this out yet. So Friday night I was up to page 228 of this book. So I read 162 pages on Saturday or Friday night and Saturday. And then before bed I read 55 pages of this. So that is 217 pages in total on Saturday. So quite a bit of reading. That's quite a bit for me anyway. From page 55 to the end of this book is 108 minus 55. Could I have worked that out? Probably. 253. So on Sunday yesterday I read 253 pages of this book. And then I didn't get far through this book but I thought I might as well I'll mention it as well. I read 34 pages of You and Me and Vacation and obviously I'm only 34 pages in but I missed Emily Henry's writing. There is just something about her writing that just it just makes you feel things like the way she describes things I'm just like the way she writes and describes a scene just makes me feel feel things. It makes me feel nostalgic. I don't know. I love her writing so I'm very much not far into this at all but I'm already loving it because I love Emily Henry and I love the name Poppy and the main girl's name is Poppy. 287! So I read 287 pages yesterday which I'm not sure what a record is because I don't normally count the pages I'm reading if I'm not filming a video but that could be a record for me. Very quick summary of the books. I know I've chatted a lot in this vlog already so bear with me. Also if you don't care like please click off the first book, The Invocations. I think I'm sticking what did i say i gave it i think i'm sticking with four stars for this i definitely enjoyed it i definitely couldn't put it down it was very easy to read very easy to understand i wanted to know what was going to happen like the whole time the only reason i feel like it's not like a five star for me is because i don't think this maybe it's just re reading about demons and like 
demons in humans. I just don't think it's like completely my thing. Will I read another one? Maybe? Like Four Stars is a book that I like thoroughly enjoyed, just didn't give me like the five star feeling. And then the demons were just an experience. I wouldn't even say I hated it. It was just a different experience and I wasn't like obsessed with it. Just so I feel like four is a good rating for this. I actually loved all three characters, but I really liked, I would kind of say she's the main. It kind of like shares between the three perspectives, but I would say she's the main and I really, really enjoyed her. And then I'm also going to stick with 4.5 for The Naturals. I loved it. I also read it all in one day and I do feel like when you read a book, bless you. That was Harvey sneezing. I feel like when I read a book really quickly, I like like it more, but I loved it. I feel like this was everything that I wanted this book to be. A YA murder mystery, very fast paced. I loved the plot. I feel like it was like very well thought out. Got little clues throughout it. And then so when you find out everything at the end, it all makes sense. And I love books that are like that. I love when like you're like oh we were getting clues the whole time and because we obviously didn't know we just it just went straight over our head I really really enjoyed it and I definitely will be continuing this series but yeah I'm not sure if I can even count this but but those are the three books that I read slash was reading over the weekend I really really hope you've enjoyed this video let me know if this is something that you do enjoy watching I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna quickly edit this clip and then post this as soon as I can I love you very very much thank you so much for watching until the end because I talked a lot I'm well aware and I'll see you next week Bye.